East Coast Health Care Reviews. Today, we got another beer review. This is another Foster's. It's the Foster's Premium Ale. So I did have the uh, Foster's Lager. I actually really enjoyed it. On the can, it says Australia's famous beer brand. Over 125 years ago, during the summer of 1888, the Foster Brothers gave the thirsty people of Melbourne their first taste of, the, of true refreshment. Foster's established 1888. Inside of the can, it's actually really cold. I had it in my mini fridge. It's a 25.4 ounce can. I believe they call this the oil can. It says ale with caramel color added. Um, serving size 12, 12 full ounce. 5.5% uh, alcohol by volume. We'll go over that with Beer Advocate. Calories, 161 calories. 12.4 uh, 12 grams of carbs. Zero grams of fat. 1.3 grams of protein. Uh, so yeah, I got uh, Beer Advocate pulled up here. Beer Advocate gave this a little bit better of a score than the lager. Still poor though. So Foster's Premium Ale, Foster Group Limited score 68 for poor. Style is a bitter English extra special slash strong bitter ESB. ABV 5.5% from Foster's Group Limited Australia. Availability is year round. Um, but it does say on the can, brewed in the USA. It actually says, uh, brewed and packaged under supervision of Foster Brand LTD by Oil Can Breweries in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, no cracked soap in. As you guys know, these oil cans tend to spill a little bit. I'm going to do my best to not have them spill. I tried to do a little bit of a side pour, but, uh, I've seen some other videos on the Foster's Lager. And um, basically, it's kind of filled too high, so when you go to pour it, it just tends to spill. It's not really something you can control, but I'll do my best. Maybe pour it a little bit slower. I got my Spencer's glass, as you guys can see. I really like these cans. The cans are cool looking, but they do spill, as you can see. Pretty much almost the same size as my Spencer glass. Let's go for the pour. Actually, no spillage on that one. Didn't spill at all. This one might have been filled uh, perfectly. Color of it? It's got some chilled haze because it was in my mini fridge. It's really cold. But it's a uh, nice light amber color. Off-white head. About a finger ahead. Um, and it's, it does say ale with caramel color. Um... I know a lot of people, they'll be like, oh, caramel color. And then they're very uh, prone to not buying things that have caramel color. But in my opinion, if the beer tastes good, it's not really a big deal to me. I'm, I'm actually, I'm drinking the beer, you know. I care about what it tastes like. Um, I'm, I'm drinking it. I'm not really staring at it, you know. So I don't really mind. But uh, I definitely don't mind when they just use natural color. I mean... Maybe it's so people, it's more appealing to the eye, but like I said, it's not really a big deal to me. Um, yeah, like I said, nice uh, light amber off white head. Head went actually away pretty quick. Looks like it's going to leave a nice lacing on the glass. Let's go for the nose on this one. It's got like a toasted, like toasted ready malt. Caramel. I believe they use some adjuncts in this one as well, so like some corn, some sweet corn, malty, light hint of hops, grainy, that sweet corn. I'm actually not getting as much of an aroma as I did with the lager. But you are getting that toasted bready malt. Smells decent to me. Nothing offensive. Let's go for the taste. Definitely getting that toasted bready malt. A little bit of sweet corn. Grainy. It's got a decent amount of hops. Light hot bitterness. 
It has strong bitter, in my opinion. It's not very bitter compared to your other ales, like pale ales. Definitely nowhere near as bitter as those, but it does have some bitterness. Carbonation is actually pretty good. High carbonation, just like the lager. I'd say light to medium mouthfeel, kind of like the lager as well. This is definitely a little bit fuller of a mouthfeel. Still light to medium, in my opinion. Now with the lager, I say light to medium. It had like a fuller flavor than your typical adjunct lagers. This is more light to medium. Kind of like that. A little watery. Not going to lie, the uh, the, lager, the the Foster's Lager was a little bit watery. I don't think I actually mentioned that. But it does have a good amount of flavor. Really light. You're, you're not really getting as much like toasted bready malt as you would like with say like a gingling but it's there like I said you, you pick up a little bit of a uh, like grainy corn good amount of hops definitely more hops than the Foster's Lager but it's actually very drinkable 5.5% not bad carbonation's high Say high carbonation, in my opinion. It's actually pretty good. Um, I think I do enjoy this one over the lager, um, but they're both pretty good, in my opinion. Nice maltiness. I said a little bit of sweet corn. Toasted bread malt. This one's not bad. <clears throat> I do enjoy it. Price on this was two twenty nine for a twenty five point four ounce can. I'm actually pretty surprised that it didn't spill on me at all. I don't want to jinx myself, but. it's not bad like I said it's uh as far as them calling it strong bitter ESB not much of a bitterness just a light bitterness hops on the finish for what it is it's actually very crisp and clean refreshing I said it's got a good carbonation that's what I always enjoy with these beers these lighter style beers um, I like that they have a good amount of carbonation, good amount of flavor. In my opinion, uh, it's a good beer. I'm going to give this one a little bit higher of a rating uh, than the Foster's Lager. I'm going to give it like a 7.5 out of 10. I'm going to recommend it to you guys. If you guys want a little bit more sweetness, because like I said, this has like a little bit of caramel. Maybe some honey on the palate. Maybe even a little bit of honey on the nose. But yeah, if you want um, something with a little bit more flavor, I know this is an ale and the other one's a lager, but if you want something with a little bit more flavor than the Foster's Lager, I recommend trying this. Um, if you guys have had pale ales and it's too hoppy for you, maybe you're a light beer drinker, uh, maybe you're an adjunct lager drinker, adjunct ale drinker, and you want something that has a little bit more fuller of a uh, richer taste. I think this is a good one to try out. Like I said, decent amount of hops. Definitely not bitter, in my opinion. Probably like 15 to 20 IBUs. Definitely more noticeable hops than the lager. Um, but it's pretty good in my opinion, like I said. I'm going to give a rating 7.5 out of 10. And as far as the recommendation, um, if you guys have had um, pale ales and they're too bitter, it's too much hops, and you kind of want to open up from those light lager, uh, light ales, adjunct ales, adjunct lagers, um, this is a great one to check out. Give me a cheap.
229 for a 25.4 ounce can. Like I said with my other video, it's the only packaging I can find in my area of these. Um, don't see them in six packs or any other packaging, so the availability isn't the best, but these Foster uh, oil cans I could pretty much find anywhere in my area. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's not bad. I like the decent amount of flavor. It's definitely like a lighter version of a pale ale. And as far as the caramel coloring goes, it's not really a big deal to me. Like I said, I taste the beer more than I stare at it. Um, it reminds me of a yingling. Even though yingling is a lager, but it has those toasted, toasted malts, caramel, honey sweetness. If you guys like yingling, um, yingling is actually very well priced in my area. So honestly, I'd probably recommend yingling over this if you want something like that. But this isn't bad, even though, like I said, yingling's a lager. This is an ale, but uh. As far as like Sierra Nevada pale ale, so much more hoppier, so much more of a richer, fuller mouthfeel and taste than this. Um, but if you tried something like that and it's too strong for you, I think you would enjoy this. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. If there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel, definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for my upcoming videos. Link your beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.